Girls Trip is directed by Malcolm D. Lee and stars Regina Hall, Queen Latifah, Jada Pinkett Smith, Tiffany Haddish, and Mike Coulter. Ryan, played by Hall, Sasha, played by Latifah, Lisa, played by Pinkett Smith, and Dina, played by Haddish, are a group of girlfriends called the Flossy Posse who have been friends for nearly 20 years but have been living separate lives until they all come together for a wild, crazy girls' weekend in New Orleans. What makes great comedy for me, what has made some of the best comedies of the last 10-15 years is the ability to go beyond simple comedy. I don't like it when a comedy is just a lot of people sitting and then saying one funny thing and another person says a funny thing and then back and forth. Like that gets very repetitive. I've seen that way too much. I like comedies that infuse some great physicality, some pretty dark jokes that just go for it, some great improv, and some just generally unique writing and unique ways to go about the characters. Girls Trip has a lot of those first few elements, but very little of the latter. It is an incredibly fun movie to watch. These characters were a blast. I believe that Ryan, Sasha, Lisa and Dina have been friends for 20 years. I think that Pinkett Smith and Haddish definitely were the standouts for me. Pinkett Smith has never been this funny. I've seen her in a few other movies, particularly The Matrix Reloaded and The Matrix Revolutions, and I've never seen Haddish before. My God. God, these two were hilarious. Haddish is definitely going to have so much more work ahead of her. Such great comedic performances. I wanted to just watch two hours of just them two together. Not to the detriment of Regina Hall and Queen Latifah. They did fine, but Pinkett Smith and Haddish for me, wow. I do think that this movie is also competently directed. Most of the jokes land pretty well, but... The reason why I'm not saying that Girls Trip is the best comedy I've seen in years is because it has one joke in the middle of the movie that just took me out of it completely. It's this really unnecessarily over-the-top piss joke that just, it, it kind of like physically made me uncomfortable. I shouldn't be okay watching two women violently piss on a group of people down below them. I don't want to see anyone do that ever. So it wasn't the best turn for this movie to take and also I think the dramatic side that this movie is taking was very very slow, unnecessary and just predictable. This movie's plot aside from the hilarious jokes can be seen from space. If you've seen any romantic comedy from the early 2000s or even last year's Bad Mums, you know exactly what's going to happen because most of the dramatic side is the fact that Ryan's husband, played by Mike Coulter, is having an affair with a woman. The woman is there with them on the same sort of area in New Orleans. So they're trying to, you know, deal with, oh, should Ryan still stay with her husband? How are we going to deal with this woman? And then we're going to have a fight with her. And it's like, every time that those scenes came on screen where it wasn't this really fun exchange between people and it just said, okay, we're going to have our characters argue with each other. I was just checking my watch like, come on, wrap it up, please, because this movie's two hours long and it shouldn't be a large chunk of it dedicated to this kind of plot. If you are looking for just a generally fun movie to watch that you can laugh a lot through. There are some jokes which had me almost in tears, then Girls Trip is your movie. But for me, who's looking for something a little bit more in a comedy, Girls Trip was fine. And I'd have to say that Girls Trip is probably worth the ticket and the DVD. There's also a small, tiny, tiny little cameo by director Ava DuVernay, which I spotted and I pretty much almost jumped out of my seat when I saw her. Yeah. So Girls Trip, have you seen it? Please tell me what you think about it in the comments below. There are going to be videos linked down here or one over there. For more Mr. Movies, please press my little face right there. Thanks for watching.